It's produced by mining, and uh, it goes like 50 coins for every 10 minutes for the first four years, and then it goes half as fast, and it goes half as fast until it eventually tops out at 21 million. So it's all just like Bitcoin, except it's new. It's way newer because we only launched in 2016, and so it's very new. So the supply is going up rapidly because it's only a year and a quarter old, just like Bitcoin did when Bitcoin was a year and a quarter old. Does that make sense? I'm not sure if that was your question, but that's what's the, that's what's going on with the Zcash supply. Well, uh, thank you uh, for the lecture. Um, I want to ask uh, which technical problem now uh, uh, you count as most uh, complicated and important for Zcash now? Какую проблему считаете наиболее важной и сложной сейчас в Zcash для разработки? Oh, which technical problem? Um, the one that we are prioritizing right now is improving the efficiency of the zero knowledge proofs um, because they were way too, the first version that we deployed uh, was way too inefficient. Namely, it takes about 40 seconds on a laptop to generate one zero knowledge proof, and you have to generate one zero knowledge proof whenever you want to pay one coin. Um, so it's inconvenient to pay a coin. And so what we're working on right now is we've invented a, another really substantial improvement in the cryptography, which improves the efficiency by 10 times, which I'm really proud of, because it's not very often that you get a 10x improvement in something. And so that's what we're working on right now, is deploying this 10x upgrade to the cryptography at the same time as um, sustaining the network and all of the users that are adding onto the network so that we don't um, disrupt them during the upgrade. However, that's not my answer, that's just our first priority, but uh, uh, the most interesting challenge for Zcash is the same as for Bitcoin and Ethereum, which is scalability. Because I don't think any of the, or most, or any of the values that cryptocurrencies and blockchains have promised us can be realized without a really great breakthrough in scalability. And it's a hard problem, but no one knows the solution yet. There are like four or five ideas for how to solve it, but no one's proven that their solution is really gonna work, so it's a very exciting moment.